The company's values are very important, both to me and to the performance of the company. We're a very generous company. Uh, we're a very inclusive company. Uh, and we really believe in providing opportunity for others to grow. I think one of the things that sets us apart is that everybody at Perry really understands that. It's a big family. I have a guy that works for me. He's been here for 40 years. We're great friends. I mean, I'm still learning a lot from him. But it's that type of environment that we all work here at Perry's. It's the tenured here. I mean, I've been here 14 years. A lot of the, the people that I've, that I've worked with here at Perry's, uh, a lot of the mentors, have shaped me into the person that I am to this day. I believe T.W. Perry put it that way. <laughs> the culture here at T.W. Perry is to support and give back. Because they give back to me, I'm able to carry that on to other situations in my life, to support people in my family, people in my community, and people at church. Does it make me proud to wear the T.W. Perry logo? Yeah. I've been with the company for uh, for a long time and I see what they've uh, they've done for for me my family other um, other employees uh, here being there and working with people or being able to be generous and and, and support financial causes uh, is extremely rewarding because ultimately uh, it makes you a better person being able to, to see how you've impacted positively and made a difference for somebody else it's kind of the reason why you, uh, why you do it and the reason why you model that uh, for, for, your, for your children. You want them to have this uh, sense of uh, responsibility to help others that are, in, that are in need. It's like a shared bond with, uh, with other people in your, commu in your community that, uh, that you're, you're helping make the place that you live a place that you, know, you want your children to grow up in. We're very unselfish when it comes to our time, so even if it comes down to a Saturday evening or Sunday, we're, we're, we're all there. We strap up our boots and we head out, and we can do what we gotta do, and then on to the next thing. The motivation is, is to give back to the community, to bless others as we've been blessed, and hopefully provide the opportunities that we've been given you know, to others. If we weren't supported by people like Ed Quinn and, and Tom Perry, John Sumter, all, all good men of, I think, can I say good men of faith who, who saw beyond the sort of the surface of things and saw that this was a sort of a work that, that had to continue. Anytime uh, I, we'd see a truck pull up with a load of lumber or with some siding or with some stone and it said T.W. Perry, Perry, I was proud and, and gratified that they were such generous people. You couldn't ask for a better friend than T.W. Perry. It's a beautiful thing. T.W. Perry has uh, been a big part of our renovation efforts here at St. Dominic's. Some of the projects have been the, uh, the renovation of the uh, altar area in the sanctuary and also some new confessionals in the back of the church. Without T.W. Perry, it would have been difficult to make these things happen. Any kind of construction is always expensive. Churches are always living on a shoestring. And so any kind of help that we can get, whether it's be in monetary contributions or in materials, is always very, very helpful. I'm very proud and very happy to be involved with T.W. Perry. I know that, that Ed and his wife Kathy and other members of the company you know, are very involved in the community and support some wonderful organizations that really reach out to the people that are in need. We started our, our biggest campaign now, our Light the Night Walk, which is now our largest national campaign. And it was one of the first things I did at LLS. And one of the first companies that we reached out to to get involved was T.W. Perry. And of course, Ed and the team here said, of course, we'd love to help you get started. We raised, you know, maybe three, four hundred thousand dollars that first year. And now we're raising about three and a half million dollars with Light the Night in this market. And I really credit T.W. Perry for getting on board from the very beginning to say we're here to help and the culture that is here at, exists at T.W. Perry is all about family, it's all about teamwork, it's about giving back, it's about results, it's about impact. It feels like a match made in heaven. Ed Quinn has been wonderful in donating building materials for the housing that we're doing with uh, men and women and children. It's been very successful and uh, we couldn't have done our housing without Ed Quinn who's uh, one of the best people in the world. The new building in which we're going to be dedicating in May of this year, building materials have gone into that. We couldn't have done that building, and it's a rather big building, without having Ed Quinn 
uh, be partner with us. Uh, and he's very, very generous about that. Rebuilding Together is a nonprofit organization that helps people live safely in their own homes. We raise money by building playhouses. My playhouse was a pirate ship. And it's a little bit of a mini contest to see who can build the coolest playhouse along with doing something to benefit Rebuilding Together. TW Perry supported us by going to their partners. They have supported me as a business. They've supported me as an individual. There's always somebody to listen and always provide support. I know I can count on TW Perry. Our program uh, builds houses. Uh, the kids built, their student built housing. The first one we did was on 13th Street. TW Perry, without question, we need windows. The windows would, were there and the kids put them in. The lumber, the siding, they were enormously generous at donating material that these kids built this house. For every architect we have, we need about 400 people that know what to do with the plans and build it. There's T.W. Perry Lumber there with the kids signing off, I built this house, it was pretty powerful. Yellow Ribbon Fund was started in February of 2005 to support wounded, ill, and injured service members and their families. Whether it's the employees of T.W. Perry or the organization itself, they provided over $400,000 in resources to us, financial support, but they've also provided a number of other supportive objectives for us. They have provided volunteers, resources to build ramps, decks, doorways to support the, the wounded troops who were, were moving back to their homes. They've done a lot in this area, but they've also done in other areas around the country. With T.W. Perry, we, we find that their employees have time and time again stepped up when there was a need. The Yellow Ribbon Fund would not be where it is today without T.W. Perry and Ed Quinn's leadership. There's something to be said about vision and Ed Quinn is someone who continuously looks towards the future and, and envisions the outcome of the project that you're doing. The Ice Hockey Center at Rockville Ice Arena would not have been possible if it wasn't for the support of Ed Quinn and T.W. Perry. When we first approached them and said, we need a third partner in this, the parents, the school, and T.W. Perry. The three have committed to raise the funds. T.W. Perry is also donating product. Their overall commitment to be a major player made the difference in making this happen now versus having to wait for this project in the future. My friend Tim Strachan is in a wheelchair, suffered a very a tragic accident going into his senior year at high school at DeMatha. We had an event one night at my house, okay, a little dinner. I invite Tim and his wife to come over. The first thing he says, well, pretty tough to get across your lawn in a wheelchair. I call Ed Quinn. He said, tell what we're gonna do. We're gonna send over. We have some uh, lumber. We'll have a guy br bring it over to your house, lay them across the lawn, and Tim can take the chair all the way across the lawn right up into your front door. Let me know how much it's gonna cost and, and take care of it. Cost? No. no. Hour later, the guy shows up from T.W. Perry with the truck, unloads, and lays down all these strips of lumber all the way across the yard. Next day, comes back, picks it up, takes it back. I called again, I said, send me a bill. No, there's no bill. I'd like to call him Eddie Quinn, okay? I know he hates this. He's got the gift of knowing this is the way to do it, and basically, I am helping people. Deja Sumler was one of our employee interns. The T.W. Perry um, atmosphere was very welcoming. They were very friendly and they made me feel at home. I didn't feel nervous. I was just very struck by her drive and, and she really you know, want, was someone that wanted to do something with her life. I think it's a great opportunity to come here and work at T.W. Perry, especially as a young lady. It's like, wow, she's doing this. She definitely seemed to have the drive and passion to get there. Pal taught me how important character development is and how it is very essential in your adulthood. So throughout T.W. Perry's environment, I got to see that and I was like, wow. I think the purpose of the workshop at T.W. Perry was just to give us like 
another view of like success in a way, especially in a workplace where an industry where women don't have a lot of representation, like architecture, construction, things like that. You don't really see a lot of women there, so it was nice to see that representation. It was just really empowering. It was a very nurturing atmosphere. Everyone was nice, friendly. They really wanted to reach out and you know help you. I got very good vibes there. Being a part of the business competition has really prepared me for school because before I was like, oh my gosh, all this homework, all this stuff. But I really think that it's important for me to educate myself. If you're around people who you know have the same goal as you, and that are very positive and help you like work towards your goal, they'll help you accomplish that goal. T.W. Perry has a reputation for being different. You can tell that there's got to be something behind the employees, there's got to be something that they're believing in something that they're subscribing to. It is very rare um, to find an organization that just puts into practice the things that we teach on a day-to-day -day basis at YLF. Every day at the programs, um, you know, we teach character and to see that lived out throughout an organization as big as T.W. Perry uh, is great to see and from, from their marketing manager um, to their CEO, they, they live it out with a sense of cheerfulness. It couldn't be a better fit in terms of just sort of our outlook on the importance of caring about the individual person, um, caring about their growth and caring about um, their character. It's very rare that you've got a business owner that energizes an entire organization about what we do and the entire organization responds. It really broadens the horizons in a way that is both exciting for, for us as YLF to kind of see that, that discovery and then of course for our students themselves to discover it on their own. To find a partner out there in the business community that represents the values that we're about. The values of excellence, of cheerfulness, and of service. We couldn't be more happy about that. With the opportunity that exists in the building industry and the contract industry today, I think there's a, an enormous potential for a lot of YLF alums to become involved and hopefully to participate in that shared prosperity for all that T.W. Perry promises to its customers. It's so exciting to be partners with T.W. Perry. It's a perfect partnership. It's a natural fit. From the Yellow Ribbon Fund, we want to congratulate T.W. Perry and all of your employees. I'd like to congratulate T.W. Perry. My heartfelt congratulations. I really want to thank everyone at T.W. Perry. Congratulations on getting the Spirit of Service Award tonight. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you so much for all that you have done. I'd like to congratulate T.W. Perry and all of its employees on winning the Youth Leadership Foundation Spirit of Service Award. I know you don't want to hear your name. All I can do is give you a great attaboy. Hats off, Mr. Quinn. Congratulations. Congratulations, T.W. Perry.